right. Thank you guys for joining us here live from Mason Cable Network. Here we're on From the Cinema here, our first episode here. Uh, I'm your new host, Jalal Reha, and your new co-host. Mitchell Parker. I'm the co-host. All right, Mitchell here. Parker. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for uh, joining us here today. We're actually going to go over uh, the first, I'd say the, the film that really got the whole school year rolling for everybody here. Uh, it, the most probably the most talked about film at the end of the summer here. Uh, a uh, nice big horror film, a remake um, from 1990, the original Stephen King novel, It. Um, and I really just had a lot of fun just watching this film. Look, it's all connected by the sewers. That's where It lives. Yeah, I mean, I'd say if there's one word to describe it, it'd be it fun. Just, it was just a fun movie for everyone to go and see in the theater. Well, I know it's a horror film, but it was just like nonstop, just kind of like in your face. Just No, it, get, it stopped it, sometimes for like nice... It, for, oh, for the, dialogue, the, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but also like yeah. when the children were bonding. I mean, the bonding, yeah. There's no. some, there's some comedy. Yeah, comedy there's lots of it, it, was, it, different, it just had, it had like, you know, it had the whole vibe, everything you wanted out of a horror film. Just, you know, and I really felt like too that the kids usually you see in horror films, people make like dumb decisions. Yeah. I didn't see that as much here. I just. I mean, they were still dumb. They but were they were still kids. Dumb. They so were, you it were, was like it made up for the yeah, dumbness. Yeah. You're like, oh, they're dumb because they're, they're kids. Because, because they're kids, right? Uh, going into different rooms, like. Yeah. And like getting locked and all that stuff, it does just, you know, <laughs> you know what yeah. are you gonna do? I mean, I felt though, like the whole cast in general, though, Bill Skarsgård here, the first the thing here, best. Pennywise was excellent. Incredible. He was just as good as you can probably want him to be. Yeah, I feel like that part's really easy to just go over the top, yeah. but he didn't, he didn't take he didn't it over do the top. Too much. He was very like coy, he was yeah. playing with the children. Very poised, he was good. Um, yeah. <laughs> just, you know, he played with the children. Yeah, you but, know. <laughs> exactly, yeah, great, great. Great horror movie. Great horror movie exactly all around he's a bad guy and he was a very bad guy but, um, but, uh, uh, but uh, really good at being very, very good at being a bad guy. Guy. very good uh, antagonist there um and i just really enjoyed the whole ensemble and the cast to be honest uh, the kids just really worked together well had a good on-screen chemistry with each other yeah. uh the, the dialogue there to me was up and down i would yeah, say there was yeah, up and down hit or miss with some of the jokes there but they really um they delivered it. They're kids. You know, there, they, were, there were some there's some like some of the kids were better than the others definitely you can definitely Finn, see that who played richie was amazing. Oh yeah, he was he was excellent, and I really enjoyed. Um, I believe his name was Jack uh, Jack Dylan. He's the kid. I believe uh, the the mom, the scary yeah. mom. His mom yeah. was very strict and everything. Broke his arm. Very very cool kid. And I really enjoyed actually Jeremy Ray here. Jeremy Ray, uh, the chubby kid, the, the know it all. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the nerdy, smart one, the nerdy one. Out of the new, he was yeah. out of. He think he's from out of town. He's yeah, like the out new of town, kid. the new kid on the block. Um, not, and well, no, he, he liked the new kids on the block. Yeah, so he, oh, was, he liked the new kids on the block. That's yeah, right. So it was exactly. Like two levels. So there's two like layers to his. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then he, like a, like an onion. <laughs> like an onion, exactly. No, but but I, but I'd say like uh, Stanley Garris who plays. That one kid, exactly. I mean, that's my point. He and was so boring, so and bad. boring, and just didn't really like his character. Was just you're just there to, just, for more scary. I don't even remember his character's name. Exactly. I remember he was Jewish. And ex exactly. Yeah. And that there was a scene in the synagogue. A scene, and then there was a yeah. I, I think that all the all the scares really kind of like related towards the the, the character's personal fears too, which I really yeah. Yeah, really, there was it was interesting. It was very interesting the way they did that, and I really felt like the the way the whole movie was shot too, the whole the editing, the whole the the whole like the, the way that kind of grabs you grabs your attention there too, like again little scares little scares in the film too that kind of like attention to detail. Like I, I brought this up to you earlier about um. Uh, the kids flipping through a book, yeah. and um, you see the clown in the book all, uh, the whole time, and then and then behind him you see this old lady smiling. Yeah. She's not <laughs> smiling in actuality there, but that's just kind of like the whole, the, just there for for like for his in his own imagination, yeah. I guess. You yeah. Know? That, that, that that is what really kind of tricked me about the film. Just the little too. details. Was good. Yeah. The, yeah. Exactly. What's really reality? What's then? What they can see? What other people mm -hmm. can't see? Um, yeah, absolutely. Also, I, the sound. The sound was great. I it, thought. It, I thought for. I mean, that's a very important yeah, aspect, in, oh, yeah. especially in horror movies, yeah. because they can really like tense up a moment if you have like strings playing at the oh. right time and the oh, a loud crash at the right time. It was right just always like it was very unsettling the whole time. Yeah. Just the whole like, and every moment there was just something for you to kind of like either laugh at or kind of just enjoy too. Yeah. You know, I just uh, really felt like the film just kind of took off for people. Yeah. That being said, I don't know if 
like this movie is the best no. horror movie I've no, ever seen. No, no, not at all. But no. it was it was su- it was super fun for what it was. Beginning of like the end of summer, exactly. going back to school. You exactly. know what's scarier than that? Really? And, you, and to be honest, when you watch the trailer and you think about what's what's actually coming out, you don't really expect much from this film. But yeah. like, you know, it, it another remake. You know, just something else. And then we are, we know like what it is sort of, and it just and. It, and it was really kind of surprised people, I'd say. It was a very pleasant surprise for people in the late, late, like, summer box office. Yeah. For sure, for yeah, sure. No, I think it was, you should go see it. Go see it. If you have it. a chance. If absolutely. you feel like having fun and you're bored. Yeah, absolutely. And um, it just go with your friends, too. You know, go with yeah. your friends. It just make it a fun time with everybody. I, I, yeah, I highly, highly recommend it. We give this movie, what was it? 8 out of 10? 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, eight out of ten for you folks. Solid. Eight, solid 8 solid out of 10. Solid movie. Solid movie, yeah. Bring your girlfriend, you know, go on a date, make a date movie too. It's just, you know. <laughs> or your boyfriend. Or your boyfriend. You know, yeah. um, uh, or yeah. your, just your friend, really. Just your friends, the, yeah. the whole variety of people that you can bring. You or your go mother. With. It's yeah. crazy. Your mother, yes. Especially bring her. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, thank you, thank you. Um, so, uh, uh, our next segment here, we're going to have uh, uh, Jason Gilligan come on here in, in a bit here. So, thank you for joining us on, on a review here, and uh, stay tuned, okay? Welcome back to From the Cinema here with Jalal Rehai, your host, and co-host Mitchell Parker here. Hi. And uh, I'm here today with our guest Jason Gilligan here, senior FAF student here. He's uh, directing a film called Yogurt. Uh, this fall here will be uh, premiering at the uh, JC Film Festival on uh, December 7th. Um, so Jason, come on uh, and tell us about yourself. Tell us about you know your uh, influences in film. Uh, yeah, so um, like you said, I am a senior in film and video studies here at Mason. Um, I am in the directing and producing concentration and our senior uh, capstone, senior thesis for that, is making a about 15 minute short film. Mm-hmm. Um, and mine is called Yogurt. Mm-hmm. All right, so go ahead, yeah, tell us more about it. Tell us, uh, you know, is the synopsis, anything um, like that? Yeah, so um, basically Yogurt is about when a 17 uh, year old teenager is placed inside of a mental hospital. He has to learn to come to terms with his mental illness if he ever hopes to be released. Um, it is a very personal story. It is a uh, based highly on uh, when I was hospitalized as a teenager um, mm-hmm. and just sort of dealing with mental illness myself. Um, and it is also kind of a critique of um, how mental Ill- how the mentally ill are portrayed in media today. So is there a single thing that made you want to tell this story? Of all your stories, I'm sure you have many. Exactly. Um, Why this one? I mean, <laughs> I, I've i always wanted to, to, to tell this story, but I never quite figured out how... Um, and in 498, uh, which is the, the first class of two in the, thenia, uh, in the uh, senior thesis uh, track, um, our professor, Professor Thrasher, basically encouraged all of us to tell the, 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 the crier piece, the, the, the really personal <laughs> one that, that uh, the one that's sort of based on our lives and our own experiences there. Right. Um, yeah. Makes so, sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So, so all the films and that you, all the senior films that are going on right now are they all? Um, not all of them, but a, a good majority of them are. So. Mm, yeah, yeah, no, it's an exciting time for the whole school, mm-hmm. the whole department. Now we we're all there at the production fair. So, yeah, I mean, I know the shoots are coming up. It should be fun. Time oh yeah. To making these things, right? Oh yeah, it is. Um, it, it, we had our first shoot date uh, last Friday, and we're shooting. Again, this coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that's where we're going to be shooting all the hospital scenes that make up the majority of the script. Um, but like most of the work goes into pre-production uh, before we have a set foot on set. And that is, we've spent, I don't know, like two, three months in pre-production just getting ready for these four days of filming. So it's been stressful, but it's also been like really rewarding, a great learning experience. In, Pretty fun. I can totally understand. Make my first movie last spring, man. Mm-hmm. I can totally get it. And like being on the set is probably just the funnest thing too, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. Exactly. So, so yeah, you have uh, you talked about that. Now we have. Um, uh, you said you have a little clip for us, right? Um, yes, I do. Uh, the end of 498, the first class and the the track. Um, you have to come out with a script, a uh, uh, a digital pitch, and an in-person pitch. And the digital pitch I have brought for you guys. All right, all right, well, then you heard it from him. All right, now roll the footage, monkeys. There you go. (laughs) Yeah, monkeys. In the film, Evan, a mentally ill teenager placed inside of a mental hospital, must learn to cope with his symptoms, ranging from thinking one arm is shorter than it should be to hallucinating insects crawling all over his skin. 
You must also become familiar with the fellow patient's peculiarities and begin to unravel the mystery behind the nursing staff's strange obsession with blueberry yogurt. Yet, despite his newfound flippancy towards his mental illness, there was still one question itching in the back of Evan's skull. What happened on the night that he can't remember? Oh wow, so that was a great clip there, Jason. All right, it's very exciting, very Thank exciting. You. All right, um, so uh, wh where can we see you next? Um, like, what am I going to be doing after this? Yeah. Or I have no clue, no honestly. No clue, exactly. With, with this, where, um, where can people see the full version and when, yeah. if they want to? I mean, this mm -hmm. pitch was amazing, so if they want to, you know. Um, so basically what we are planning to do and what our professor is encouraging all of us to do are uh, submit these short films to the big name film festivals, you know, uh, Sundance, Con, South by Southwest, mm -hmm. um, anyone that has a short film segment. Um, and it's mostly just to, to help get our names out there, um, get you know, people in the industry familiar with us and our work. Um, and then after that, we will be uh, submitting to smaller, more local film festivals as well. Uh, is the Film Festival, still film festival open to all students? Can I all come? Um, I believe or? so. Um, they have started, they just started last year ticketing, mm -hmm. but the, the tickets are free. You just got to go and actually pick one up. Um, but other than that, yeah. So yeah, you heard that? Pick up a ticket, go see Jason's exactly. short film. It's no, going to be the best. It's going to be a great film, great film. <laughs> exciting, and really exciting for all the short films premiering there this yeah. fall here. So uh, thank you for joining us today, and uh, we'll see you next time, right? Yeah. Thank you. Peace.